Hello, everybody. I'm gonna hear more pillars of eternity. Nice and quiet. Hmm. Yeah, we're in a cool little part here. We're in the temple of the gods or something. I think we went around here and got all the god related quests. Which there are quite a few. <laughs> Um, I wanted to. All right then. Before we head into those, I wanted to check for some more side quests in the town area. Particularly this area. Our song, old song, Elm's Reach. Oh, Temple of Hylia. Oh, I need to head there. Um, <clears throat> so let's look around. What level am I? Level 8. I hit around level 10. I think I'm gonna go to that check out that DLC shit. These ladies have been say, I think I'm supposed to kill these people. I have questions. What do you wish to know? Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to kill them. Oh, Until no, I, we meet again. I feel like I'm supposed to kill them. Who was it? Uh, yeah. Dwarf. My baby. Dwarf, I know who that is. And then, oh yeah. Ah, the Golden Grove Lady, okay. Elmshore. Oh yeah. Elmshore. I don't think I've been there yet. So I'm gonna go into every home and... So yeah, I was totally right about this area here. It's like, this looks like a very dungeony area. Um... Well, we won't clear that out just yet. I don't know where Elmshore is, quite a way. It's going to every home, though. We're looking for quests and shit. One thing I recommend with this game is a <coughs> solid state hard drive. Like the load times are long enough with one. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Has there been an inn here? In Glanfathen land? There's only like one point of confusion I'm having right now. I was like, I can't do anything about this quest here because I don't have good reputation Red Defiance Bay. I don't know how to get it. I feel like I've done most things there. Protector. I just want to get to the burial aisle. It's not customary for Eshamorn to seek it. They have an understanding of its significance. But for those who pay respect, Dorval will ferry them across. Okay, I so said Dorval. I'm looking for the Temple of Hylea. It lies beyond the north wheel and up a mountain, but the faithful have fled, and now the priests have cast Fath and Onwen linger in Old Song. Where is Noonfrost? In Old Song, where most of our temples lie. Your eyes can't miss it. Oh. Have you heard of this place? Have I been to Old Song yet? I don't know if I have. We have a place called the Golden Grove. Yeah, I know where that is. It's really close to here. Tell me about Ethic Knoll. They're druids of the Blood Sands. A cave? I've been there too. Are you familiar with the place shaped like a wolf's head made of stone? All Glenfethans know of the Maw. 
There's a place in Old Song that's holy to Gallo. I've definitely not been to, to Old Song. Wait, what? No. Oh. <laughs> All these addendums. A servant of death. The old queen and the new queen. Worried huntress? What's up? Oh, I talked to these people already. Okay. I've not been in this home. Let's go in this home. A little B and E, huh? I'll see what I can find. So give me a minute. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Where's mine? Where's mine? I don't know. This is mine. Well, you took it. Well, you took it back. More stones. Bubble gum. It's somewhere around here. Sorry. Oh, I guess we get XP for going into these stupid houses, so I guess it's worth it for that. Eve, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I've not been in Old Song. I've been in here. The Golden Groove. Been there enough. Although, where the hell's Elmshore? Oh, there's Elmshore. Okie dokie. I'll go to Old Song in a sec. Let's go to Hard Song first. Check out all the buildings for any side quests. Hi, Mac. Macapa. What's up, dude? We're hanging with the wild people right now. We're doing a little B and E, breaking and entering. I've been in that house already. What is the celestial sapling? Hey, guys, score. Hey, guys. Dare wooden noble. <clears throat> Oh, there's a person with a name. Cool. What's up, Renato? She'll pay that witch. She'll 
You there. Have you come to trade with the savages? Learn from my example and take your business elsewhere. Liars, cheats, swindlers. The duplicitous bitch, Alari. She claimed to be selling a lard gola. I'll tell you some of the names in this game. But all I have now is six bushels of common houseplants. The herbs are useless. I'll get my money back from that swindling savage. What do you intend to do about this? When I get my hands on... Delta sentence. His eyes darting about the nearby guards. I'm in the savage's home court, so it's my word against hers. Where does that leave me? I'd be a fool threatener here on tribal soil. I cannot sell this worthless herb to recover my coin, and I'm powerless to confront a larhi. I don't suppose if you were willing to mediate, perhaps, you could succeed where I failed. Sure! <laughs> Talk to a larhi in the Harsong market. Okay. Um, oh, another guy. Rotuk. Hi, Rotuk. You want up? I pull. Oh, interesting. Um, should we go up here? So this, we take this rides up. Okay. We're going up a tree or something. Or oh, it's like a tavern. Oh, okay. I did not know this. Nicia Silversmith. The backer. Hunter, boar companion, fright frightened villager. What's wrong, dude? You! You're the one! The one he's looking for! You killed Lord Radric! What if I did? No, you understand. It, it didn't work. It... And one of the guards of the keep was one of the guards. He kills. He's killed most of them, the ones who didn't. Kolsh. He didn't last very long. Nothing would empty air him. Nice enough to work for, I mean. Much nicer, but that didn't help him when Raedric came back. What? His eyes are like he was burning inside. He says he's come back to lead us, like before. Says he's going to kill you for what you've done. I told him I'd find you, give you his challenge. Do it all honorable, that sort of thing. Wait, what? You mean I have a chance to kill him again? How could I refuse? It won't be like last time, I think. He's not human, I mean, not mortal anymore. It's like he just up and refused to stay dead. I've never seen anything like it. I hope I never see anything like it again. In fact, I'm staying put here and drinking until I don't remember a thing. Alright. Hey, we were looking for side quests. We found him, I guess. We... <laughs> so I had to kill a guy again. A valiant woman. Oh, by the way, am I building anything in my stronghold? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Camille Winchmere. Ogre. Eletherian Haggard Shoes. Hail and well met. Welcome, welcome. I'm always glad to see a new face. Take a seat, seat where you like, my friend. Tell me about the place. Of course. I found it the end many years ago, but in many ways, this tale begins much earlier. It was while I was returning from a long journey south that I first heard the story of the tree upon which this inn rests. So you didn't actually find the what? <laughs> Hundreds of years. <laughs> what? Hundreds of years ago. Oh, you heard about the tree? Okay. Okay. Never mind. Hundreds of years ago, a strange event occurred. The sky was troubled that night, with many stars falling across the sky, and one of the same stars began to plummet instead towards the Yura. It fell there, striking a young tree and burying itself with half within its fiery heart. But the tree survived, and over the years it grew and grew and grew, and twice as big as it as fellows in half the time. Until it reached the size, you know, you see now. And grew no more. Hmm. Here in the tail. I knew I must find the truth, and you see it there. Around the tree's heart, I built this inn. To welcome all travelers who might look upon it. A fine story. I'll carry that, I'll carry that one home. Great. Good story. Can I get a uh, room, though?
I like that. Uh, roomy room. There's not like there's a chimney. It's like a freaking hole in the wall. Alright, let's look for more people to talk to. A moment! I would like a word with you. How do you do? Well, hello there. It's good to see someone from more civilized lands around here. I'm learning firsthand the many shortcomings of Glenfathen hospitality. I can almost forgive the hostility towards the outsiders, but the temperate taverns and these watered down drinks. Inexcusable! I hope I don't seem too forward, but I need to help my friends, and you look like the right person for the job. Which is to say, you're not Glenfathen. Making you the closest thing I've got to an ally in this paranoid land. But allies, well, they help each other, do they not? I hope you need. My friends have drawn some unwanted attention. Glen Fathen scouts, not just any mob of local zealots, the Fangs. The Fangs are a brutal, relentless bunch, eager to make an example of troublesome outsiders. As for why I need your help, I need someone to do the war in the expedition that trouble is coming, and I need someone ready to fight if it comes to that. With any luck, we'll reach my friends before the Fangs do, but if not, the Fangs have a reputation uphold, so this might require spilling blood. Why aren't you with the rest of your friends? Why not warn them yourself? It was my turn to handle Far Patrol. I spotted the fangs on my trek back to camp. I knew that rejoining the main group would risk leading the enemy right back to the expedition. I know the woods and I know how to stay quiet, but I didn't want to stake my friends' lives on my ability to sneak past expert hunters like the fangs. If they noticed me warning my friends, we'd have been overrun. But if they noticed me and some reinforcements, like, say, you, well, at least they, we can scare, off, scare them off or put up a good fight. What did you, what did you do? Why are they ch looking, at, looking for you? Just setting foot in air gland fast is a good way to offend the tribes. I don't know how they picked up our trail. I suspect one of our newer scouts didn't cover his tracks well enough. Okay. Tell me more about your expedition. I like to think we're on the mission of reclamation. It is said that our army has left behind many valuables in their hasty retreat from air gland fast at the end of the war black trees. Oh god. So the way I see it, we're simply gathering up what our ancestors left behind. I doubt the gland fathoms agree with me on this though. My expedition, my expedition set out from Defiance Bay, heading directly east to cross into Glanfathen lands. I split it, I split off once we arrived at the Bale, the natural frontier between our nations. Maybe helping these people will help my Defiance Bay rep. <laughs> okay. I'll help you warn the expedition. Excellent, I knew I could count on you. Assuming the fangs didn't already get them, my friends should be now be or around the Pilgrim's Trail in the North Weald. Oh, the plan was to camp along a trail leading to the Temple Hylia. I haven't been there yet. Find my comrades, warn them the fangs are coming, and help them clear out of the forest. I'll head out first on my own to see if I can't lead the fangs to stray and buy us some time. If the gods smile on us, we won't uh, have to draw steel. What is that? AMP trap punch? <laughs> um... Should have come to that. I'm glad you're on our side. Look at that. Oh, look at all these quests we got, guys. <laughs> Again, the only uh, only thing I'm a little confused on here is like I need to get my Defiance Bay reputation up, and I don't know how. Right now, they view me as an, an eccentric, an eccentric, which is kind of like my real life reputation. <laughs> um. Oh, we're getting more side quests. That's good. That's where you get the majority of your XP in this game is from quests. You get very little XP from fighting, if it, if any. Are you a backer? You don't look like one. What? What? Hi, monk. What's up, hi, monk? Good day to you. The monk massages his temples, his face buried in his palm. This room needs a proper door, he mutters. My brothers and I rented this space that we may have some measure of privacy in this foreign land. Perhaps you could find another room here in the inn. Who are you? 
Oh, brothers and I were having a private discussion in a room we rented for our use. Please, there's a tavern full of people who would provide you with the pantry you seek. What brings your order to this place? We travel where the teachings take us. Oh, bye. You guys are no fun. I think we're done here. Hi, ogre. <laughs> Anyone here to talk to? Hi, kind of class. Hi, Loth. Or Isomir. Alright, let's do a little more B&E. Uh, I have not been in any of these homes. You guys down and do some B&E? Oh, so look at this. A named person. You know what that means, right? They have a name. They have a quest. Many blessings, traveler. Welcome to my home, Mr. Jamar. I'm Lindsay, healer and guide. You better have a quest. You suck. You don't. Tell me about yourself. The logos have called me a wise woman. A term of respect, I'm sure. But it makes me feel my years. I'm a herbalist and a healer. I spend most of my time caring for the ill. You better have a quest. No. You suck. <laughs> Meanie butt. Oh, whatever. Maybe she's related to a quest. No quest. I have to wonder, like... I'm curious. Let's do this. I have this disabled show unqualified in five interactions. Let's just see what it looks like. Like, if you don't have a high enough stats to, like, say something in a conversation. I, I don't want to see it, really, but I want to see, if, like, like for example, this. Hail, Estramore. No. Okay. Good. So we're not missing a quest there. I'm going to leave it on, though, and head back to the Defiance base, see if there's any quests I'm missing. My mom just asked me what an aux cord is. What What is an aux cord? I don't know what that is, either. Auxiliary cord? Want to do some more B&E? Hey, Wait, what? Heart... Hard bargain, addendum added. Oh, she's at her dwelling. She's surrounded by Glanfath and warriors, seemingly ready to defend her at all costs. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. She st Alarhi stands tall, surrounded by Glanfath and warriors that study her every move. I expected Renato to employ someone on his behalf. I'm surprised to see that it is you doing his bidding. Does the presence of my armed entourage concern you? You were expecting a defensive shopkeeper, am I not right? Stillness. Give the Eshamore a chance to speak. We're not a der wooden beast. Your hospitality reigns. Envoy of the Valiant. Speak the message you were sent to deliver. I want to hear your side of the story. The first step of any sensible path. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, so I was right. Renato did purchase for me several bushels of Ilardi Gola, and for it he paid a high price, but he did so willingly, saying it was a bargain right as he handed me his copper. It was after our trade that the Valiant spit his venom. Renato accused me of trickery, of fraud, claiming I delivered withered likenesses of Ilard Gola, and not the genuine root. Such nerve, for in truth he is beyond the help of Ilard Gola. 
Renato's old bow, bow isn't firm enough for a full draw. Is he talking about the, his dick? <laughs> no amount of Vilar Gola will give him the spear of a young hunter. Yeah, they are. All right. A fair deal was made, and now Renato objects, angry that his withered family plow is beyond herbal remedies. Hmm. I've never sold anyone a remedy I knew to be false. If Renato does not silence his slander's tongue, we will do it for him. Well, he's valiant, so... Um, so he's not from Defiance Bay. What kind of punishment do you have in mind for Renato? Renato has slandered his host, making him no longer a guest. The merchant must vanish from Twin Elms. Oh. But Glen Fath and hospitality must be observed always. He is to be given a chance to leave on his feet before he bleeds on his back. Um, interesting. So, like, look at all this shit I'm missing. I normally have this disabled. Like, I can't do this, can't do that. Twin Elms positive four. Also, he's not from Defiant Space, so I don't care. I'll deliver the message. All right. Why'd she want to know what an auxiliary cable is? Where was that guy anyway? He's down here, right? Alarhi's wooden cage? What? Oh, contains a tiny black beetle, a veiled war- what? I have to give him a beetle? Rose, how do you put a beetle in a cage? Oh, high five. Oh, uh, I got you. For the car. Greetings. My friend, welcome back. Have you recovered my coin? Before we do that, let's make sure we buy stuff from him before we do this. Okay, he doesn't have anything useful. Hello. Alari gave me this beetle in the cage for you. She said your problem would end in the same place if you continue to stay in Twin Elms. See, look at this. Insufferable witch. She can shove that beetle in her fetid mating hole. Her and her face painting thugs will pay for this insult. Next time, if I play this game again, like, um, I gotta get this resolve up. Quickly grab Renato's hand before it strikes. You reach out with blinding speed, catching Renato's hand mid-flight, stopping his blow before it strikes. He tries in vain to free himself from your grasp. Madicho! Savage, filthy animals. This damn city will burn. You hear a whistling sound from nearby. I'll kill you! Renato's voice gurgles mid-sentence. The tip of an arrow gleaming red protrudes from his throat. The merchant quivers in a quick spasm flail in his arms. He drops to his knees, bursts of blood flowing down his chest. It is not accustomed to tolerate scrabbles between Estramorn. I'm sure you understand. Before he can reply, she walks away, moving with confident strides. Renato's arms twitch a final spasm as the merchant expires in a bloody crumpled heap. Rip. So I didn't get any reputation with the Twin Elms for that? Oh. Ooh, he has a nice blunder bus. Or... Oh, okay. I didn't turn it in yet. Tell Alari you've dealt with Renato. Okay. I barely really dealt with him. He got shot by some other dude. This place is corrupt, man. It's all racist savages up in here. 
Renata won't trouble you anymore. He's dead. Dead? I'm not surprised, given his behavior thus far, but the death of a valiant merchant could vote poorly for trade. Still, the matter settled. Renata will, will no longer darken our market. Here's your payment. Travel safely. Uh, you're welcome. No reputation. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. It might not tell me about my reputation. Oh, I know. Ally? I think that's new. Yeah, some crazy shit happened in Portland. What happened? Did you, uh, did you get pulled over or something? <laughs> I have not been reading the news. If there's some news story or something, I'm not aware of it. Should we do some more B and E? I think I've done all the B and E I can. Let's do this. I'm going to go back to, um, have I been in here? Yes. Let's go to, uh, I want to go to, uh, Defiance Bay and I want to see, uh, talk to various peoples with that option enabled. I want to see if I'm missing out on anything because of my stats. Some white supremacist dickbag was harassing two Muslim women and three guys stood up to defend her, and the white supremacist guy stabbed all three of them. Jesus. In Portland, huh? Stabbed all three of the guys? So one guy took out three dudes. Or two, apparently. What the hell is that all about? How do you... Does, well, I guess if you have a knife, and the other people don't, you're going to get stabbed. And they died, though? Jesus. He must have stabbed him, like, in the fucking heart or something. You know what I mean? Kind of messed up. Let's go in here. On oh, the throat? Oh, my God. Well, that'll do it. Well, makes you think, makes you think twice now about standing up for uh, people, huh? <laughs> it's like, boy, I don't want to get my throat cut. Okay, let's first go in here. Now, I think there's more to this woman. You, if you are a woman, then she's laying on. Greetings. Oh wait. This is new. You seem upset. World's just going to garbage. Well, it's been there for a bit, dude. Um, it's not new. There's also this is America. Oh, that's part of our history. It's in our blood. Um, you seem upset. What's wrong? Where should I begin? Rioters nearly burned down the city, and now people turn to me for answers, as if I know anything about politics or enforcing a peace, just because there were fires. And on top of that, the sacred fires are still out. I try to tell people they're just a symbol. That hardly seems to make a difference. That sounds like a quest. The fires? The sacred pyres all around town. You must have seen the statues of the goddess around the city. Pulling up empty braziers. Or braziers? Um, I've kept them burning steadily for 15 years, but I haven't been able to conjure them for months now, and people need to see them more than ever these days. What does that mean? It's my devotions and prayers that keep them lit. But lately, when I try to pray, all I can think about are the hollowborn all over the city, the grieving families of refugees. How could Magran allow us to suffer like this? What strength do we gain from a soulless child? What strength do we gain from adversity? From trial and test? The fires don't wither because she lacks in faith. They wither because she does not understand how to be faithful to a whore. A whore wants neither praise nor devotion. A whore wants to be compensated for her services. And Magran is paid in pleasure and sweat and struggle and pain. This mewling imbecile is unworthy of Magran's womanly heat. <laughs> okay, Durance. Um... And this is shaking your faith? But I believe Magran may be speaking to me again. Oh yeah? This will likely sound so far fetched to someone like you. What is that supposed to mean? Lately I've been having I've been seeing visions. A place in the wilderness with pools filled with sunburst of color. 
Strange falls seem to rise to the heavens even when they splash into the earth. And behind the falls is a cave filled with fire and heat and danger. And some token of my goddess. I know there's something there, but where it is and or how to I get there, I don't know. I've been meaning to ask around at the expedition hall to see if anyone recognizes the description. To be honest though, I don't know what I'd even do if I found the place. Hm. Worthless. Like so many of Magrand's flack. So is this a new quest? Alright. Let's do this quest. Cinders of Faith. Let's see. Travel to the cave from Frigga's vision. So we should go to the expedition hall. Alright, well since we're on a little bit of a roll here again, let's, I'm gonna turn this off again. Oh. God damn it. Wait, quest updated already? Whatever. Let's go to the expedition hall. You had five siblings? Between the six of us, I don't think the house has known a single day's quiet. Of course, a little chaos makes it far easier to get away with mischief. Yes, I can imagine that comes in handy. Oh yeah, let's build the, uh... These. No, not those. Just... Alright, let's go to the expedition hall. Let's find out where this cave might be, eh? And we're gonna go cave hunting. And go spelunking. Have you ever, any of you guys ever spelunked before? Sorry, any of you spelunkers? Again, I recommend playing this game on a solid state hard drive. <laughs> Alright, who should we ask? This guy? Weenin? Wiener? Hey, Wiener. Oh. Uh, let's ask, uh, the one guy that starts with an O. Oh, Asterisk. Um. All right. Let's ask the shopkeeper. How long have you worked at Miss Den? Oh, a few years. I got in the minute the last merchant cleared out. Tell me about the expeditions. There are groups of adventurers that venture into the wilderness. More than a few of them try their luck scouring the ruins. Most of them come back empty-handed. Show me where. Is there someone else to talk to? Maybe the guy in here? Is there anyone in here? Someone at the expedition hall might know. There's no one in here. They ask about it. Maybe a mercenary. Nope. What is this? Well, I don't see anyone to ask about. Yes. Uh, you want an expedition? Talk to Wenon. I just. I don't think they'll help me because I'm. I'm not. I'm kind of not allied with them. Multicolor pools and a rising waterfall. I don't know. All right, let's turn this shit back on. <laughs> I mean, that's, that'd be kind of silly, right? If I need... You want an no. 
Expedition talk I don't know. It doesn't seem like anyone to talk to in here about this. So, hmm. I guess I don't see why we can't find it on our own. Um, oh, I don't really know of anything that matches the description. Who's out here? Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary. Hmm. A cat. Let's ask the cat. This is a bug. Let me look one more time. What's in here? I'll see what I can find. Steal this shit. I'll see what I can do. The work of a moment. No. Nope. What's this? I'll have it in no time. The work of a moment. This man marks areas of geological activity in the Deerwood and our Glenfath. Of note is a description of a cavern where molten rock flows within deep chasm. Well, that sounds like what we want. Hello. All right. Weird. I feel like that was bugged a bit. Alright, um, did this unlock a new area or something? Yeah, that's Syrian Falls. That's new, right? Or... I'm not sure. Security reports that Shades and Forest Lurkers will attack the stronghold in six days. Okay. Yeah, I've never been here. Cool. Wait, an enemy already? Jesus. Uh, hello. Hello? Hello? Oh, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. I don't think so. A fucking dragon? You kidding me? I don't know how to deal with a dragon. Oh god. Wish me luck. Oh boy. <laughs> God. Uh. <laughs> 
Did he cast his spell? I think he just did. Okay. Oh, another one? Are you kidding me with that shit? Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? Are you fucking with me? Did he cast his, uh, circle spell? Uh, maybe. Oh, too bad he just went down. What happened? Jesus Christ. This is only affect enemies. No targets. All right. Well, why not? Oh my God! Another one, dude. This place is not friendly at all. I mean, it really. I feel like I gotta blow all my spells and shit. Did we kill one of them? I think we killed one of them. All right. Now, does this only affect enemies? No, I think it's targets. Why not? I think we're gonna survive, guys. That's kind of a probably a mistake. Are you kidding me? There's more? I did not expect to be dragon hunting right now. Is he gonna cast this? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, come on, dude. Kill this asshole, please. Ah. Actually, we're fucked. I think. It's constantly knocking me down. Knock. All right, we might make it. Did we destroy the Drake? What happened? Oh boy, that's bad. 
Oh no. Kill it. Well, we might survive here. This Drake. Uh, I have to kill the Drake, though. Oh, I'm not. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Not getting to me. Any kind of potion or something? I'm dead. Kill him. Kill him. You're not getting through me. Get. Kill. Kill him. I might be able to do this. I don't know if I'm doing any damage to him. Yeah, I'm hitting him a little bit. Yes, kick his ass. Oh, the beast young Drake died, interestingly enough. Uh, let's drink another one. Will we survive? I hope we live here. That'd be cool. Dude, come on. Phrasis. How much how much health does this guy have, man? Come on. I am hitting him, but Yes. Oh my god. Tough battle. Oh, that's nice that we survived that. Isn't it? We're getting cool loot. Primal flame. No Drake eggs. Drakes are tough, man. Level six. I've defeated two of them. The beast. Oh, these are wilders. I know I was looking at that. All right, um, well, shit. Let's camp. Dude, everyone is fucked up. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. If we fight any more of those. Although, let's get... Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, in case we fight any more of those. I have a second one of this. Wow.
In case we find any more of those drakes, man. Those are tough. Sort of that shitty kind of like fighting area, but oh boy, okay, cool. <laughs> Onward. Are you kidding me already? Oh, spirits and stuff. This place is dangerous, bro. Jesus. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. It can't be a lot, right? This has to be just a scraggler, right? Great. Oh my god, are you shitting me with this? Oh, we're gonna rack him. Wait, wrong weapon, dude. Wrong weapon. Uh, the, the young drakes aren't that bad, but the... Those big drakes... Those big drakes are scary. Of course. Yeah. Zarip? Oh, great. Well, I like how the priest is the first thing I see. Of course, there's two priests. Um... Can I just pair? No, I can't. Fuck. Oh, that's probably a serious fight. That's good. These guys can't be too hard. Oh, oh get fucked, guys. Yeah, they're not too hard. Still getting experience from those guys. I haven't, I haven't killed very many Zarb champions. Expect how easy they are. Okay, well, there's a cave. That's probably the cave you want to go to. Oh boy. Silence surrounds me. This looks like a fun place. A temple to Margaret, if there ever was one. That's so familiar. That's how you know she's excited. So dirty. It's like it's a religion for dirty old men. All right. Um, spirit and Wilder. Okay. Oh boy. Oh man, this is quite the.
I wish there's some elemental like defenses or something spells, you know what I mean? Also be good on that. She got wrecked. Uh, okay. We better kill this thing, right? Group one dead. I'll take a look. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. I just have it, Paul. Strong. It's a high priest here. Uh, what do you ask? Oh god, okay. Fine. That's good enough. Aztec worth and rough! guy's still alive. Can we kill this guy? Alright, good. Greater flame blight. Yes, Eve. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My dress looks nice. My dress looks nice. Yeah. Oscar's out. All right. What's up, Drum? Good, are you? Or 
We're in some fiery cave. It was a really hard fight. Well, I mean, I didn't die to it, but I was close with all these dragons outside um, this cave. I think I might have one problem. You can help me figure out drum after this. We'll see. If you don't mind. Margaret's fire cast light. Okay, I was just gonna be a big old battle here. That was kind of a big old battle though. Maybe Maybe that's where it that's it. Oh god. Please I don't wanna fight you. I come in peace. I come in peace, uh you know. I have no intention to fight you. That this is like a legit dragon, isn't it? What's this spark? Spark is an ember, warm, glowing, beautiful. Bah. <laughs> okay. Is this a dragon? Kale the silent? Too many things here. Oh God. There's like a million things. The range is not very long with this guy. Oh, is he paralyzed? Oh, that's not good. Is he done? All right. Who is this? Oh, it's my, okay. Can I paralyze all these guys? Really? I can't reach that guy though. There we go. Oh, he went around him. Little bastard. Is this still again? All right, whatever. Oh, 
Wait, my target was destroyed? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I might just take all these guys off me. Like oh, they're like all the way up here. Are there any corpses to blow up? There must be, right? Let's do- I want to do a corpse explosion. Corpse explosion! Oh, something blew up, right? Oh, mess here. What about him? Did he do his Durance? Did Durance cast a spell? Oh, he did. Okay. Um. Thank you, Durance. How is no one dead yet? Okay. Um. That's no good. Die. What happened? Ooh, I leveled up. You die, please. What are these? Injured near death? Oh, let's kill it then. Yeah. Best year progress. Kali kill the silent. Oh, well, that's a lot of experience. That shit. Very good. Everyone alive? Okay, good. I think it was like a legit dragon, or was he still a drake? Still a drake. Level 10. That guy was, that guy was it. It must have been like an old drake. What did he have on him? Any right, cool? Any cool? 
Or no. <laughs> Is this the spark? Yeah, get wrecked, Kale. I believe that's what I'm looking for. Anything else, though? On the ground where the dragon and curled around it, you find a stone that glows a brilliant orange. It is cool to the touch when you reach to retrieve it. Durant catches a glimpse of it, and his eyes bulge out of their sockets. He scowls, his mouth puckered. The whore's cruel jest. The bitch is always known to... There's always known where to sink her claws to get a rise out of me. What do you mean? This stone you carry. This is part of the bomb that destroyed Aethus, the god hammer. You seem angry. Or what's it doing here? One wonders. The bomb blew big. But it would not have sent fragments this far from the citadel. The Drake must have carried it quite a distance. Or Magrin really put it here herself. You seem angry. Mm, no, it's not anger, you see. I'm merely the victim of a divine practical joke, it seems. That will remain between she and I, Watcher, for only I am able to appreciate it. Let's bring it back to Firga. You, you catch Durant scowling once more at the corner of your eye. Okay. More leveled up. Oh, everyone leveled up. Wow. Oh. Ooh, cloak of minor missions. I guess if anyone's not using a cloak, I'll oh, we'll look at it later. Treasure. Are you kidding me? Is he okay? Fast. He's alright. Ruby? I don't think I have any ta I wonder Terra. Hmm. Alright. I think we're done here. Woo! Thanks, Drum. Um, let's go back to Townie. Level up. Turn the quest in. What? And then loot this? It's also like. More stuff here, but I don't know. I imagine it's just uh, more fighting. Maybe later. Uh, yeah. I want a criminal by the name of Neri. The death hand has arrived at the stronghold seeking aid. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, I'm probably missing a whole bunch. Okay. Go in the door. All right, see what this does. Or give me some rep, yo. Hail and well met. I journeyed to the Syrian Falls myself. This is what I found there. By the flame, do you know what this is? It's a fragment of the Godhammer Bomb. Yes, the very weapon that Magrin herself helped us build to defeat Wadewin in the Saints' War. It's weird seeing it right in front of me like that. Before it was just stories, never seemed real. So why don't I feel any differently? What good does this do? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, to be honest.
Is there like a... Does this matter what I choose here? There we go. Transformations through trial. We've certainly seen the beginnings of these that in recent days. That's a lot of experience. This woman hasn't been tried at all. With that we were alone. I would take it upon myself to instill real transformation. One of the things I have always loved about Magrin is their infinity for fire. How it grows and spreads. You've given me what I need. I'll make sure the people of Defiance Bay... I'll make sure to give people of Defiance Bay the support they need. Now, let me give you something you need. A weapon worthy of the goddess herself. Please accept it as a thanks for your service to Magrin to me. Okay, Unforgiven. Um... Friend? Oh, I'm a friend now. That's still not high enough for this stupid quest. I bet. Right? Let's try it out. What is this stuff? I'm getting all this. What is going on here? Minus one perception? Oh boy. I mean, I guess if you're going against some crazy dragon. Gods keep you. Oh, good. Thank God. This quest has been taking me forever. Hi, baby. What's up? Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. You kitty cat. Hi, little baby. What's up? Little baby. Little baby. Hey. Little kitty cat. Alright, of course, policies for the general public. Except just getting made for those who've already proven their worth. And I have. I've proven my worth. Right, uh, right, Louis? Okay, see you, Louis. The rosters are in the front. The inventories of the dead and back. Thank God. This quest has been, like, stuck forever. Uh, Eater, Eder, I don't know how to say his name still, <laughs> leaves through the book for some time anxiously, running his thick farm hands fingers over page after page of names. At last, his hand stops. His fingers one just just below one name. Odin Talesh died 18 Majaverno, 2808. Third battle of Cle Clea Cleabon Relock. <sighs> Blazing Glon father names, I swear. Rayet Saris? <laughs> Rayet Saris. I'll be the effigy. He fought for Ray Saris. Why did he fight for Ray Saris? I don't know who Ray Saris is. Is that a country? That's a country, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Either do I. But he had to head of a good reason. That's that's just who he was. We gotta go there. The battlefield. battlefield. Clear, the one I said. I don't know how else I'm gonna make sense of all this. I gotta see what he saw. Yeah, uh, okay. Who knows? Maybe his spirit will even be there, and you can have one of your weird talks with him. I mean, worth trying, right? All right. I appreciate that. I wish I could say you won't regret it, but you certainly might. I'm. I'll just be happy to get this damn quest off my quest log. <laughs> All right, look at this leveling up we gotta do. Where do we go? See, like, whatever there. We gotta level up too. And rest. Or is it the stronghold and level up there? I gotta look at all that new items I have.
I was worried if I was never going to get the reputation high enough for that damn quest. It keeps coming along nicely. It is. All right. Hiring payday. Boo. Hey. Level nine. Oh boy, I have no idea. <laughs> Ugh, I'm gonna pick this up. <laughs> well, I thought I had this already or something. I'm pretty sh Or did I get something else? The fighter's immune to frightened and terrified. I don't know how big of a deal that is though. I mean... Like immune to prone, that would be a big deal. You know what I mean? Oops. Super rest? Ugh. I didn't counter. <laughs> I'm gonna be hit on that much anyway. Fine. I want it. What is this? Oh. Hmm. I mean, it sounds cool, but quite the, uh, I don't know. You get two down. As long as it, it is sickened, this is constant. What does this do? That sounds good. I mean, that sounds good. I don't, it's a passive too. I like passives.
I think I like this. Um, don't I need someone to be able to read the high level scrolls? Oh, damn. You sure need a ton of lore if you want to... Is this level 5 the highest, or...? So let's go with survival for now. Wait, what? What the hell is this shit? Spell mastery? Mastery spell allows a free use of this spell once per encounter. Oh. Um, I like I use this one all the time. I have never used that, even though it sounds cool, I guess. This would also be cool. Uh, I use this on every single encounter, though. Also, I like to use this on every single encounter. I don't know. I need Mo. I think we're going blessing. Level six rolls is the highest. Well, any mini money mode said blessing, and I like blessing. We're gonna go with blessing. Alright. Oh, I get new spells. Yeah. Yep, any mini me mind most said blessing. And also I like blessing, it's like pretty big radius. And uh yeah. So I got fifth level spells now. Um champions boom, one ally though. It'd be... Okay. Pillar of Holy Fire. Ooh. That'll be nice. Prayer against imprisonment. I'm gonna find Kangax. I gotta get coffee.
Okay, hi. Sorry. What? Shit. Wee. Okay. Um. What does this do? Oh, we need to paralyzed. That's nice. Revive the fallen. Grants fallen friend a second chance. Oh, that's nice. This teaches the guys for more time. Interesting. Maybe I have to open with this or something. How long does this last for? Oh, it's like for existing effects. Oh, weird. That's, this is nice. Ooh, level three phrases. Anything good from here? Nope. 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 All right. A Felathius myth fear. This shows a burning effect on ally weapons. Interesting. A minute. Okay. Neato. Seven men onto the deck they went. Oh. Alright. Well, that's nice if I... Fighting freezy stuff. This is for... Grant generate a hazard field causing burn and slash damage. Okay. Uh, yes. Obviously this one. Right. I gotta edit my chance, you know. Good old Aloth. One. Um, mechanics, man. He's a mechanic guy. I guess we want to do this, though. Level 5 spells and level 4 spells. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. I never got this slicking spell here. Sure, there's some good level four spells I don't have, but like I want, um, I want to get a high spell. <laughs> so what do we got here? Archimedes Wondrous Torment drains the drains the targets. No, thank you. Oh, oh, I can get take two. Nice. Um, blast of frost. Yeah, drum. I want to get I want to get some high ones. Or well, let's see. It depends. Um, what does this do? Wait, what? Oh, oh, weird. Okay. Um, eh. 
Call to slumber. All right, well, John, one thing I, I don't, I, I would like a nice single target spell. I know AoE is awesome, but I would like one nice single target spell. Do these things exist? <laughs> um, cause a group of enemies to fall asleep. Oh, that's nice. I guess. Is this a single target spell? Or no? Probably not. Okay. Ringram's Innervating Terror. Now this is like, what's so good about this? Oh, okay. Form of the Helpless Beast. To a pig? Now I'm seeing a... There's two spells that I don't see here that I see on a list here. And this was to be a spell called, um, or did it get nerfed? This was to be a spell called Shadow Flame or what? Where is that? Did that get removed? <laughs> be a spell called death ray and shadow flame here but i don't see it okay that's lame all right well maybe i'll get those uh let's get blast of frost and, um, what is this? Oh, it's like, when would I use this versus this? That's so much more damage. Oh, every few seconds? Is this immediate? Yeah. Hmm. Too many spells here. Uh. Is there anything like what levels I don't use much of? I don't know, dude. This is enemies only. Twelve meters? A oh, wall. Okay. It sounds kind of cool. This is also attractive. I know it's a good, but now I, that's a good uh, single target spell. But like these, <laughs> there's these spells that are attractive to me. Um, I 
You know what I mean? Isn't this a good single target? I know, um... Damn it, I don't know. Either wall force or lightning cloud. I mean, a wall force would be cool, man. It'd be hard to open up with, though. I bet this would be good with, um... The combusting wound stuff, you know? Or whatever it's called. Yeah. So with this... I'll get these two. Although, this could be cooler. How long does this last for? 30 seconds. This one obviously would hurt my people too, right? I want it. Let's get it. Alright. What is this? Oh, no. Well, chill fog. Chill fog. Chill fog. Alright. Now this I have no idea. Conjures roots in the ground underneath the target. That might be nice. To root someone. This one is not attractive at all. Eh. This one says weird. Range attacks bounce one times? I mean, that could be good. I, this sounds good, but it might not be good in practice. I invite any opinions on this. Is this good? Or does it not work well? Does it have to actually be behind them? Or will it be like anything by it? Because it's behind it. Need to be behind it actually? Is it like penetration? Thirty four seconds. That's really long. This is a really long time. This is a good route. I used to play Dark Age of Camelot. And I used to PvP on Midgard. And the main CC on there was uh rooting. So I know all about the roots. This is like rooting. It's called roots. Which is the greatest game by the way. Dark Age of Camelot was the greatest game ever made. Uh, in terms of, uh, I guess competitive, uh, person versus person combat. There's nothing better ever than it ever. Um, all right. Okay. Let's go meet nearer the depth hand after we sleep. It is, dude. But that's how rooting should be. Like in Dark Age of Camelot, rooting was the longest lasting uh, CC. You had root, stun, and, and mes mesmerize. I think it was longer than mesmerize. Yes. Yeah. That's how it should be. It should, be la it should last for a long time. Although in Dark Age of Camelot, it would uh, end if you uh, damaged them. I think. Like if you're rooted, I think if you're damaged, you would become unrooted, maybe? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be unrooted. Maybe Mez lasted the longest time, actually. With Mez, if you were... Yeah, Mesmerize that lasted the longest time. Because if you're damaged, it would unroot. But then you're completely disabled, though. Where's near the deft hand? What's up, dude? Name's Nere. 
Begging your pardon, I'm in load, but I was hoping we could talk. Very well, let's hear it. Call your allies together. Throw in time. So, might be I got myself nicked here and there for a few unsavory deeds. My name's on posters all over Defiance Bay now. Makes it hard to walk about freely, if you get me. My thinking is, it's time for me to seek out New Horizons. Oh, it was the best game ever. It was the greatest, um... It was an MMO, or still is an MMO, but it had the best, the best, uh, PvP ever. I mean that as, I mean as a fact. <laughs> um, the 8v8 combat, there's just nothing like it. And there'll never be another game made, made like it ever again. Because it's too, uh, it caters to the few. Like, where, like, if you had a team of competent people, you, like, eight people could take out 64 people at once, you know? And, like, they, they will never make a game like that again. Um, my thing is, it's time to seek out new horizons. Okay, yeah. Deadfire Archipelago seems nice. Then I'm out of everyone's hair. Only I could use some help. So, th th this is gonna hurt my rep with Defiance Bay, right? But I don't think I need good rep anymore with them. So, yeah, I can help you escape. Knew it could, boss. Well, I'm not gonna give him any money, though. I'll talk to my contacts in House Dominell. That's their area of expertise. Nothing like friends in low places, eh? You won't regret this, Lord Omni the Unhinged. I owe you one. Cape of the Cheat. I don't care about my rep anymore. Did it kill my rep? Wait, I gain reputation with Defiance Bay? Really? Shocked. Now I am a friend. Oh, I'm still a friend, though. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Never mind. This is different. <laughs> that's, that's a different quest. What did he give me? Cape as a cheat? Grant's escape? Well, that's nice. Is that for, for the whole encounter or what? That's nice. Isn't it? Although, I don't know who would be wearing that. Unforgiven. Holy shit, what is this flail here? Um, like, I just bought this for him. Not that. I just bought Bleska's Labor for the tank. This gives me damage to his endurance. So, I, I feel like that's a better tank weapon. Um, does anyone use flails? That's all my stash, I guess. One sec. No, 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 no. Hey. Okay. All right. So my green screen can't, green screen came today, but like not the, the thing that I need to, what is it, Louie? What? You were outside all day today. Don't whine. <laughs> Literally. The thing that was supposed to hold it up didn't come. So, um, so no green screen. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's finish this guy's quest, eh? Oh, don't I have an invasion to deal with? I don't want to deal with it right now, though. How long do I have? 14 days. Three days remaining. I think I have That's enough time. Him. Where do I go? I go to... Uh, this place, right? Oh, it's still taking me a day to get here? Uh... Shit. 
I really don't want to deal with the... As long as I don't need to like rest too much here, I'll be okay. Yeah, Bleska's Labor seems like a good tanking weapon. Um, level 8 party, Jesus. Okay, so I want to look for... Oh, I bet it's over here. Where you have to go. Laying low. This is the place. Oh. My big brother's last battle. Wish I could tell you what we're looking Wish for. I could tell you oh. what we're looking for. God damn it, the fucking pauses. Anything from that battle, I guess. Whatever 15 years of rain hasn't buried. You see my brother's ghost, you give me a holler, all right? What is it, Louie? You're not... What is it? I know, you're very cute. My cat is so begging right now. Let's see what lies this way. Not much here. Not much here. You know what's going to be here, though, Chad? <laughs> Two reason. Oh, the pacifist challenge? You know what's going to be here? I know what's going to be here. Enemies. Hey, oh, wait. Th something metal in the ground. Over by that boat. Those face paint. Oh, what the fuck? This guy oh, shit. Nurse can't guard that place forever. These guys weren't here last time. I think I see. No, nope. never mind. Isn't now? I used to play, or I used to play net hack roguelike, where you have challenges like pacifists, and you had to kill. You couldn't even hurt. You couldn't even hurt anything. You couldn't even attack anything. But I imagine that's not possible in this game. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is. Not These ruins are claimed, friend. On your way. No need to get riled, boys. We're just passing by. Look at his talisman, Pag. Aothasian. Uh, how about that? A godless sack of shit. We got a blazing corpse worshiper on our hands. Are there only two of you? Because, uh... Actually, they never found the body. The only reason for the legacy is because the Duke doesn't got the guts to see you all slaughtered. The gods want you dead. Me and Pag, though, we've done our part during the purges, didn't we, Pag? Seamstresses, make your cracks now. Got no god or homeland to avenge you. By mine, oh. this will be short work. I forgot to turn this off. You always swear by your god when you do a Doesn't devil's work. Doesn't matter who it was for anyway. Country's better for the purges. Maybe we start a new purge right here. Really? Is there? I hope there's more than two of you. No, are you kidding me? Who would do that? We're gonna kill you six people. <laughs> you know? I mean, fuck, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, so uh, what, now what can I do here? So I can use this. So I have to ca do I have to cast like this? And so, is it a different hotkey then? Wait, what? They don't even see hey. me. They don't even see me. <laughs> Time to die, bitches. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, what happened? So different hockey then looks like okay. What was that other thing I have? This. All right. Oh, uh, let's just whatever. Fuck it. Why is everything going fast? Are these guys serious, dude? Oh, ho, ho. Got an arrow for this one. They were right. That was short work. Yeah, it was. All right, then. Red, Redoran, okay, tips some metal object protrudes from the mound. With both hands, you and Eater begin digging in the mud until the object is dislodged. 
Close your hand around it and pull it from the wet wet earth. The object is a steel semicircular frame about the size of your fist. I've seen these before. They top the standards of Raid Ceres. Or did when Wideman was alive. Well, it's something. Just not sure what it gets me. We should take it to an expert. As a thought, a lot of people who would have touched this, standard bear is a position of honor most places, but veterans actually took to fighting for it. What I heard, serious bunch. It's not a lot to hang hopes on, but hey, we were lucky to find anything at all. Of course, they'd be, this would be easier if your friend Theos hadn't gone and murdered all the ciphers we knew. Still, there ought to be some in Twin Elms. Supposedly, ciphers got their start out that way. Uh, okay. Are we, are we gonna be done with this quest soon? Now, I think we have to go back to my, uh... My, uh, stronghold. Because I'm gonna be attacked soon. Do, do I have to be in the stronghold to manually resolve it? I'm gonna guess so. Looks a little healthier than before. This is gonna be, is this gonna be a disgusting battle? My god. Okay. Where's my auto pause? Oh, I have like help now though. Oh. Okay. That's easy. Who needs to die first? I mean, I don't know. What is this guy doing? Hey, uh, who is this? You look at him. Where's this guy? Where's Omni? What are you doing, Omni? <laughs> Whatever. Well, Omni, you're gonna get fucked up here. Whatever. I want to try to spell out this fucking giant pillar of doom. Does this do AOE damage? Yeah. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna get hit by it. Oh my god, they're getting destroyed. Oh, my, my bad, my bad. Whatever. I can't move! I can't move! No, Omni! And you can't loot. Maybe it goes in your treasure box. Okay, well, that's done with. All right, let's go to a cipher. Although I have a cipher I could use. Um. Following your lead. Are you guys ready for more leveling up? 
What does he have on him that's really cool? Anything cool? I mean, I got extra shit, I think. You can just keep a spear on. I'm gonna swap him, I think. For the lady. Oh, I can loot. What? Gorse. Okay. Now, what's going on with this guy, though? Hold on. Um, let's talk about my army. What's the status of my regular troops? Two green and two few. How do I get more, uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta give him money. Okay. Okay. Okay, I gotta save up like 10,000. Drum, no! All right, see you later, dude. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I will keep on keeping on. I'll probably head into the DLC before you, while you're sleeping. Hopefully. Better indeed. Oh wait, oh my god, all these guys died or something? <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, look at these guys. These guys are good. Holy shit. Minus two prestige. What is so good? Let's get him anyway, I don't give a shit. He's probably good as hell. See you later, uh, Kana. Safe travels. Hello, grieving mother. I have not used a cipher before. Is she, is she not a cipher? Can she not look at the thing? Your mind comes bearing quest. I just want to trace a man who might have touched this item. Look, I appreciate you taking initiative, but I don't think there's much chance that this nice stranger lady happens to be a cipher. I thought she is a cipher. I'll do what I can, but I'll need the skill of a watcher to aid my own to identify the sword once I found its traces. That her touches her hands. Oh, hands her the steel sun and touches her. No, no, he doesn't. The green mother takes the sun in one hand and yours in the other, and you can feel her presence in your mind. You close your eyes and concentrate. The sun is bright in your mind's eye and warm with the pulse and with collective experience. One voice stands out to miss the din, brassy and earnest. A shade brighter than Eater's, but unmistakably the same construction. You have no image of its owner, but his journey is imprinted with the points and curves of the steel sun. You trace a path back to its origin, far back as you can find, gliding over the plains of hillsides to a one-room home in the Gilded Vale with a thatched roof and a dirt floor. The path is faint here, its distance and time rendering images blurry and detail scarce. From Gilded Vale, it follows a road towards Madmar, Madmar Bridge, reaching the gates of Defiance Bay before diverting abruptly, cutting northward in beeline for the Red Stress. The path leads to a red -run city. I'm gonna, always, I'm gonna always say Redoran as in like Elder Scrolls Redoran. I don't know, I just can't. Regal and austere in the Edir Imperial Snell. It winds through its streets and climbs a grand set of stairs in a stately building, passing through pointed archways into what appears to be a throne room. Upon the throne sits the man whose head is pure blinding light, and it, as this gate turns to you, the light drowns out all else. Its voice carries the force of thunder, but its words are impossible to make out in the imprint. The voice and light fade. And the path bends backwards, carrying you along to the barracks, and then back southward, marching through the deerwood and skirmishing along the way. Jesus Christ. Upon one battlefield, the imprint is vivid. You see a redoran standard topped with a steel sun clutched in the hands of a fallen soldier. You see a young man in red serin armor with eater's straw-colored hair race toward the standard and lift it. The path you've been following clear to see beneath his feet. And as his hand brushes the steel tip, you can hear his brother, his thoughts racing in a blur, and they are of a god and country and a brother he hopes is far away from this place. In an instant, the thoughts are gone as well as the man, and the standards pass to another soldier. You pick the path up again as it meanders south and disintegrates into the shadow of Silabrabrilag. Anything? Looked like you were working real hard there. Brother got as far as Defiance Bay before turning to Red Source instead. He met Wadewin there. Then he enlisted. What did he talk about with Wadewin? Wadewin's head was a beam of light. I figured that. <laughs> Woden and me had heard enough stories from his uprising to know it wasn't just some tall tale. Doesn't mean he was Aethys. It could have been some wizard's trick. It's what they talked about that's important. What'd they say? I don't know. That's not funny. Come on. That metal son, my brother touched it. You saw where he went. Now what'd he talk about with Widewin? Why'd my brother fight for Raid Saris? I really don't know. <sighs> I guess that's it. 
We'll find some other way. I don't think we will. Obviously, he was like. What we do. Look for more war relics. We were lucky to find this one. The soldiers that fought with him are long dead. The battle was a massacre. And whatever Aethys knows, he's not talking to anyone. Obviously, the brother like heard of Widewin, met him, was totally like impressed, and like, oh my god, this is the dude. This guy's a god. We can go now. I've seen what I've needed to see. Quest done, right? Thank God. We are done with that. Cool. Well, since we have her with us, we can do her quest. Um, is it Dream of Memory? Uh, I have to ask her about this. Okay. I don't know her past. What's up, lady? Your mind comes bearing questions. You addressed me as Watcher when we met. Do you know what a Watcher is? There's a slow chill, and for a moment it seems as if she's going to fade from your vision. As if she can't bear to be seen. The title came unbidden. I do not know why I spoke of it. Yet it seemed the right mantle, a familiar one. Yet I do not know where it came from. If I have given offense, if I have given offense, forgive me. Forgive me. You, you would know more than I. Have you encountered watchers before? I do not know. It is an odd, old feeling. I do not know where it stems from. It was a word that arose when you saw me. It is said watchers see much that others do not. Dot dot dot. And I have been hidden from the eyes of others for dot 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 for some time. Let me ask you something else. If I have the answers, I will share them. How is it no one can see you? Their eyes see me, but their minds will not remember past the call. A call? My face is like the call of a newborn, hiding the face beneath. And for my body, I am able to wrap myself as a mother cradling her child. I am here as you see me, but to them, their eyes see only the cloak that I wear. A peasant mother, dirty, shabby, not worth knowing. I mean, you look kind of cute, like your portrait. As a watcher, but you're an you old woman. More than others. <laughs> to the Apparently. eyes of most, I am as unseen as the spirits you share memories with. Are, are you able to affect minds? I divert the flow of their senses down a different path to a place easily forgotten. It is not unwelcome when one does not desire the presence of others. The surface of their minds register a figure, but the memory slips away. They see a woman, but there's no desire for conversation. So you're like an illithid. <laughs> How was I able to enter your dream? I do not know. What what do you speak of? If you were in my thoughts, I could not feel your presence, nor do I know what you saw there. As she speaks, you suddenly feel an odd sensation in your mind, like the blood of the hunt welling up in you. You suddenly realize that whether she permits it or not, you could enter her dream and observe it without her ever knowing. There is something about her mind like a weapon's rack, where you could reach in and draw forth a blade if you wished and keep it as your own. And suddenly you find yourself back in her, in your present thoughts. Though you were away for but a moment, she seems unaware of your diversion of thought. Maybe one of your gifts and ability to walk in memories as easily as one, someone walks in the ground. Uh, can I see your memories again, or? My mind is open to you as it was before when we met. I cannot stop you if I wished. As long as you don't mind, if I try, I shall do so. My memory is not as it was, much has been forgotten. If you would walk on my thoughts, I have nothing hidden. Perhaps you may learn of something that will strengthen you, or a clue to what has caused this terrible burning of the fields, the souls, and hate halt and brass wheel. Her mind gives way. Your passage almost unnoticed as you enter her as before, circling the memory. Can we get a wubba dub here? Yeah. Suddenly you are calm. You are on a plateau, almost the height of a tower, several stories high. The plateau is like a table. Lying beneath a clear sky, and beneath the plateau, surrounding it in all directions, a forest. Okay. Hazy with mist. Uh, is it supposed to be telling me where, uh, of a map? Or a location on the map? Although whether it is actual mist, or distance, or recollection, you don't know, blah blah blah. Resting in the curve of a natural arch above you is a great copper bell. Great copper bell. Half again the size of a man. Hanging at attention as if looking down on you and the event unfolding before you. I'm trying to think of places with big bells. I played a game where there's a big bell in a dungeon. Was it Icewind Dale? The plateau is soaked in the sun, and the rock beneath you is rough and warm. The sky forms a cradle around you. You feel different. Not disembodied, but you feel your body. Your physical contours have changed. Yeah, are you a woman now? Oh. And you hear a soft series of chimes, like wind chimes. At that sound, the scene gains color and texture. As if the sound is beckoning you gently forth, feeling your senses and thoughts like the mist, rolling softly into a sealed chamber, and... Focus on the chimes. 
The chime coaxes you deeper into the memory, and you're certain it is a memory. A warm one. You are on the stone of the plateau, your knees in the, on the warm texture of the ground, silver white, shimmering like Adra. The plateau is formed of it, glistening in the sun. You can feel the heat of your, on your skin, your wrists, and your hands. Your hands are in motion. Weaving, not thread, but gathering, tenderly moving along the first movements of brass wheel. Your hands are wet. Your hands are upon the flesh of a newborn child. And you can feel the crowning of a tiny head, turning in your grip, its head slick, wet from the womb, and stinky. The hands you are wearing and inhabiting have done this many times, and they are practiced and confident. You can feel the distant pains in your own head as the head emerges. Okay, so you're like a midwife or something. This has already been done? Did I just say to do that? Why is this grayed out? Why is it grayed out? What? And what did you see in my memories? Why was that grayed out? I would hear you speak of them. The dream, the memory I saw upon me and you, it was you helping give birth to a child. There is silence. And as your breath falls still, you hear you still hear the faint cry of a child. Okay. She's waving her hands around. And she falls. You hear her speak. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> Show me what you saw. Where were you? A huge forest? Stretching out beneath a great rock? The stone of the plateau. Its color. Tell me its color. Wait, wait, what? I don't know what the color was. It's like a quiz now. Uh, it's soaked in the sun. Okay. That's all I think I have about it. So let's go with surface warm. I don't know what the color was. <laughs> and what did these hands hold? Are you kidding me? Tell me what you saw. Show me what you saw. Where? The stone of the plateau. God damn. Okay, 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 okay. Tell me what. The stone. It was silver and Adra. What did these hands hold? This one. What? Tell me what. The stone of. And what did these hands hold? I'm not sure. There we go. It was the birthing bell you saw. Finally. Has it been so long? Have I forgotten so much? Watcher. What is the birthing it bell? It's a plateau formed of the spirit stone Audra. At its top is set a great bell cradled in the reaching arm of the plateau. It stirs in the wind and it sounds for leagues when struck by kith hands. In distant times, the Great Bell served as a Glanfothan watchtower, perhaps. Why they abandoned it, I do not know. Other men came in time, settlers, and claimed the tower as their own. I, in turn, claimed it from them. The pillar became a cradle where I could draw new souls into the world. Yes, yet I believe you only saw a small part of the birthing ritual... It is not all in a moment, nor in a day. It is a journey of many years between the child, the mother, and I. Mm, damn it. Read the fucking ship. Okay. The ritual was one of Why? many steps. It took many tens of years to carve them, but always the child's thoughts were there to guide me from the moment it began to awaken to the three seasons within the mother, to the birthing day, and the years to follow. The child's thoughts, that is where it began. The expectant mother, I could often sense her thoughts and those of her child before she could. I would soothe her, Free her from the panic of questions. I would sound the memory of the birthing bell atop the plateau in her mind. Talk faster. Letting the memory of the Sorry. vibrations fill my thoughts and hers. Off. All right. Once the pain is channel channeled away and the mother and child breathe again, I sound the birthing bells on my wrist and allow the mother to hear the child's thoughts. 
The bells open the way between them. Okay, so we have an like epic midwife here. Epic baby deliverer. Okay. Alright. Surely I got some experience from that. So we have to go. Nope. Nope. We're not done yet. I'm talking. Your mind comes. The birthing bell. It Where is, is it located? It says it lies deep in the great forest of the deer wood at the borders of the Glen Fathen land surrounding it. Barely a town. Not one you would find on any map, really. But it held an important place for those there, even if it were far from the beaten track. Small families tied like a boat. Tied like a knot. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, joined at the wrist and mine and thought. Um, Many would come seeking their child's future, or a reading into the child. Such things are not mine to see. I meant no offense. You're frightened. As the thought of Watchers crosses your mind, you feel a sharp pain. I was something else, but because the title Watcher was cast on me, the word carried a weight I had neither earned nor deserved. The world seems filled with such... I drew upon the present. I felt the soul of the mother before me and used that to tell the child's path, to give it a voice. If only the thoughts of the mother and the emotions that lie beneath were mine to impart. I did, and so I used that as the one must guard oneself when drawing upon the thoughts of another. The pain of a mother's rage and disdain. It can be a powerful poison. Yes, and I live with that weakness still. Right. This is my calling. To show them the life I see before them, and even greater, make them believe it. <sighs> Why would you Even do such a thing? The most, and with the weight of watcher Sorry. behind my thoughts, these tells gain strength, strength I never possessed on my own. They believed, and what they believed became the truth. With each child that was set upon that path, the title of watcher became stronger. You must understand, without such weight upon my words, many lives would have been lost, drowned, cast in the lake beyond the bell. Now the trail to the lake is lost and reclaimed by the forest. What I see. This is a frightened will when a spirit is at stake. Would you let the fears of a mother end her newborn's life? Why would they do that? You felt I mean, it in the memory. The what a bunch of ba bastards. The importance of the child's life. It was a, a greater good was done and children were saved. It is a choice you may be forced to make one day. And when faced with it, you will make the same one. Hey, I'll be making my own choice. This choice is not yours to make. Yes, it is. You. It is my choice. You will do as the world needs. As no, I won't. children need. Fuck the kids. It is greater than you and your twist of sight. Okay. What? All right. No, I don't think we're You're done yet. It is because I once... Yes, I know that. Why'd you believe you were a watcher? There's another name for someone with your abilities. Yes, the word cipher. Okay. And I don't I, know. Why are you called grieving mother? That is a question for you, not I. That is not my name. Although if you wish to hang the title on me, I can. All right. Okay, that's it? Okay. So, should I be going to this place then? Alright, so, I think that'll continue when I rest or something. Okay, so next quest. Um, this will continue as I rest. Yeah. We could maybe do this a little bit. I have no idea where this is. Let's level this lady up. I don't know how to level a cypher up. Um, make sure she has some athletics. And um, some survival. I don't know anything about ciphers.
Uh, so, okay, antipathic field. Creates a toxic physical manifestation of the mutual antipathy or antipathy between the cipher and the enemy target. The enemies caught in the path between the two will suffer corrosive damage. What about the target? Um, Ice Strike. Okay, dazes and blinds someone. AoE, apparently. Soul Shock. Briefly transforms the outer shell of an allied target soul into energy. Release an electrical burst around them. Okay, that'd be great on the tank or something. Oh, wait. Character. I like that, but I don't know if it does it hurt everyone around the tank or just enemies. Uh, it sounds interesting. Tenuous grasp. Let's do this one. Oh boy. Um, biting whip. Cipher so it bites deeper. Okay, ups the damage. Psychic backlash. Invokes a retaliatory strike. Stun an enemy whenever they target the cipher's will defense. Interesting. Draining whip enhances assault draining power. Okay. Greater focus. Grants greater focus. Of all these, I like buying with the most, just a damage buff. Next. Ooh, more powers. Amplified Threat. Oh, I can pick two? Nice. Amplified Threat bounces psychic energy harmlessly off the target and onto the closest nearby enemy. Interesting. So, targets, maybe someone who is being attacked as a way to peel off them, peel off DPS, peel enemies off DPS. Overwhelms the target's mental ability to communicate with its own body, paralyzing it. Oh, wow. And what the fuck? Image of shock, you can leave nearby enemies st stuck. OP as fuck. So, we're obviously going to get that one. Um. Co-ops targets as in generating a slashing blade of force that attacks them before leaping to up to five additional targets. Phantom foes invades the minds of targets in the area of effect, causing them to believe they are surrounded by phantom foes, leaving them flanked. Interesting. Psycho vampiric shield. Recall agony causes the target to relive the psychic trauma of an injury. 30% of all damage reapplied. What was that noise? Let's get this. I don't know. Is there any passives?
I want her to be ranged. Um, where's, how does that work? Archivist, that one's soldier, arbalist. I think so. I have someone who has this stuff already. Oh, he's not in the party though right now, is he? Well, let's have someone with a good blunderbuss shit. Ecto psychic echo. Generates a rebounding wave of psychic feedback between the cyber and ally that causes crush damage. Which means, all right. Fractured volition violates an enemy's memories to bring vivid recollections. Of, okay, hobbled and weakened. Eh. Pain link mentally links nearby enemies to the target, forces them to experience a portion of all damage that the target suffers. Interesting. Destroys the target's psychic defenses, leaving them dominated. Domination would be cool. I don't have any other way to dominate people. Yeah, fright, frightens people. 124 burn damage? What the fuck? Seems ridiculous. 124 burn damage? 30 focus. 30 focus. This might be good. If I have her in the back. Ten seconds, twenty-one per second. It's actually more than okay. Oh, powers. Wait, what? Um. What does this do again? Hobbled and weakened. Because like, my, my barbarian is going to be sickening them already. Um, so... And he's new. Oh yeah, regenerates 30% focus gain, that's good. All right. Um, okay. Ooh, level four. Let's see. Cypher so pose a mind soul of the enemy target, finding the strength of his defenses and stealing them for her, his or her own. Drains a portion of the target's damage reduction. That sounds good. Provides an ally with mental block on his or her pain, granting a bonus to their DR and regenerating their. That's good for the tank, for sure. It fails to target the Alliance of Pure Force. Oh, what's this one? Sure. 
Oh boy, level five powers now. Detonate. Splinters of target soul with sheer force, splitting raw damage to them. Targets with low endurance explode. Oh my god. I want this. Oh, I can get two. Um. Oh, plus 20 accuracy? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's make sure she's a weapon then. Oh, what is this? That's probably the best blender bus I got. What kind of armor? I wonder. She's gonna want light armor, right? I don't really have anything though. I guess what she has is good enough. Any like amulets or anything? We have this, I guess. We'll find armor for her as time goes on. What's this? Uh, all right. Well, we're going to have to figure out how to use her. Of course. So we can start with the going down here. Oh no, I don't have it in my party anymore. <laughs> oh boy, what the fuck? No. I can't. Hello? I can't fucking scroll. Help. Okay, uh... Oh. Wait, what the... Okay, time and time, Asher Below, Long Hunt. I don't know where th this is. I don't know where that is. And it's right here. Okay. To go back here. Lame. Oh. I better talk with her. I'm gonna deal with these fuckers so your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. I do not know how to do any of this stuff. I do not know how to play with the like twenty seven focus. How do, I, how do I get more focus? Alright then. Oh boy. Young Drake. To whispers and shadows. Oh boy. Ah. 
Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh well. So, how does she work? Uh, okay, she gets she gets more focus when she hits him. I need like 40 to do these, right? Is there any cool ones? Oh, it's gonna take me forever to learn this shit. <laughs> Dead Nate. Uh oh. Wait for them to come here. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong ability. Oops. Certainly. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Where? So can I have this, like... This is my F1 then? Or my F3? I guess? It's gonna take a while to get used to that F3 this, I guess. This would be easy peasy, right? Oh my god, this got just absolutely murdered. Shed no. Yes. Of course. Do you cease to see me? Where's the damn bluffs? 